the last part of our algebra unit. We're going to now model word problems using algebra to solve them. This is probably the hardest of all of them. It's called section 10.5, although there's actually not a section 10.5 in your textbook. But I created one, and it just reviews all the stuff we learned, but puts it in context. So let's just dive into some of these examples. Here's example number one. I like to go bowling uh, at Old Orchard Lanes. And to bowl, it costs $4 per game. But of course, I have to wear bowling shoes, and that costs me $3 just to rent the shoes. Now, you don't need to rent the shoes every single time you bowl. Uh, sorry, every single game you bowl, you just have to register it once, so that's a $3 fee is a one-time fee. Now, if I've got $35 to spend on bowling, the question is, how many games can I bowl? So when you do these word problems, it's best to try to organize all your information. We are using algebra, so the key is to choose a variable and identify what it represents. So the variable usually is what you're trying to find out. And in this case, it's how many games can I bowl? So you choose whichever variable you want. Uh, most people like x, so I'll just say x equals to the number of games he can bowl. Okay, so it's good to identify the variable. And then it says set up an algebraic equation to model this situation and then finally solve it using the algebra that you've learned earlier in this chapter. So how do I model this scenario? Once again, it says to bowl it costs four dollars per game. So if I played one game, it'd be four times one or four dollars. If I played two games, it'd be four times two or eight dollars. Now, you don't know how many games we play. That's what we're trying to solve. But how would we write an expression to figure out how much it costs? How about four? Because it's four dollars per game and it's timesing it by X. So we'll just write down four X. Okay. Then it says there's a plus a $3 shoe rental. Remember, the shoe rental is only once. So this is a one-time cost of $3. So $4 per game, since games is X, plus a $3 shoe rental fee. And how much can I have to spend here? I think it's 35 bucks. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, your equation. So now how do you solve this lovely equation? Remember, it's opposite operation or trying to isolate the variable. So we'll subtract 3 off of both sides. We're left with 4x equals to 32. Then the opposite of division is, or sorry, multiplication is division. So we'll just divide by 4. And then we have it, x equals to 8. So how many games can he bowl? You can say in a sentence, Mr. Lee can bowl up to eight games. Done. Okay, so that's how we can do it. Let's see if you can try example number two now. Okay. I like dogs. I like cats. Which one do I like more? Can't tell right now, but ask me in person and hopefully I'll have an answer. It says the mass of a Persian cat is typically two kilograms less than one third of the mass of a dog or a border collie. And it also tells you the mass of the Persian cat is typically four kilograms. So the question is, how would you find the average mass of the dog? So I guess we need to find the average mass of the dog. Once again, choose a variable. I'll use D for dog. So this is the average mass of a dog and so now the hard part is to come up with an equation so let's read the sentences again and let's come up with the equation it says the mass of a persian cat is by the way is usually equal sign typically two kilograms less than one third of the average height of is an indication of multiplication so one third of the average mass of a border collie that's one third times d Okay, 
2 kilograms less than that, so that's minus 2. And this is supposed to equal the mass of a Persian cat. Well, do we have the number for the mass of a Persian cat? Uh-huh, uh-huh, right here. So this must equal to 4. So a third of the average mass of the dog minus 2 kilograms must equal the average mass of the Persian cat. So here's the average mass of cat. One third times d, perhaps you're more familiar with it looking like the following. So 1 times d is d. So how about d over 3? Would that be better for you guys? So now it's just algebra, let's just solve it. We will subtract 2 on both sides. Wait a minute, we can't do that, right? We have to balance it out. Sorry, we have to add 2 on both sides, right? Negative 2 plus 2 is 0. So d over 3 equals to 6. Then our last step is to just multiply both sides by our denominator, which is 3, because division by 3, the opposite is multiplying by 3. d equals to 18. So the average mass of the border collie, which is just a special type of dog, is 18 kilograms. done. All right, so there's two examples. I got one more for you, so let's see if we can tackle that, and then we'll be done for today. I'm going to buy lunch for four of my favorite students in example number three. We're going to go to Asa Sushi because they're cheap. I've only got 20 bucks to spend on lunch, and so I buy one California roll and one green tea drink for each of my four students. The green tea drink, of course, costs $2 per person, and so the question I have for you is, well, can you tell me how much the cost of one California roll was? Well, we can model this situation if we want. Think about what I'm buying for every single student, okay? You got your sushi and your drink. Do I know the cost of sushi? The answer is no, so perhaps I'll call that X, because I don't know. Do I know the cost of one drink? I do, it's $2. So the total cost of one meal, okay, one meal, which is a sushi and a drink, would be then X plus two for one student. But how many students am I treating? Not one. Not two, not three, but four. So what do you think I need to do? If you thought putting a bracket around here and multiplying everything by four, yeah, that is totally correct. So four times in a bracket, x plus two, close the bracket. And this is supposed to equal how much money I have? 20 bucks. Right? I can only spend an amount of 20 bucks. Well, let's go ahead and solve this. We can use distributive property. 4 times x is 4x. 4 times 2 is 8. This leaves us with a relatively simple two-step problem, which I will now solve by subtracting 8 first. So 4x is on the left-hand side. 20 minus 8 is just 12. Our final step is to divide both sides by 4. And what do we have? x equals to 3. So in this case, the cost of one California roll at Asa Sushi is just three dollars.
Okay, I've shown you three examples, and they all lead to three different types of two-step equations. I know it's hard here, everybody, but it's something that you need to try to do on your own. Okay, and practice, practice, practice is what you need for this section. So, I've got two practice questions for you to try. Please try those, then come back to the video and double check your answers. Alright? Need some help? Come find me. In person. figure out what the variable you're looking for represents student ticket adult ticket so something about being one half of the cost of an adult so one half a three less and this equals the cost of a student ticket which is five bucks so a over two minus three equals to five Go ahead and solve this, please. And you'll get an adult ticket cost. $16. The next one here, I think it's best if you draw a picture. Here's my new square vegetable garden. Side length here is x. So x is the side length on the old fence. It says they want to increase the length on each side by 8, so that's plus 8 to enlarge the garden, and the perimeter will be 220. How do I find the perimeter? It's the distance around the object, so it's really x plus 8. Okay, so it's x plus 8. And because there's four sides that are equal, I'm going to take that whole thing and multiply it by 4. This then equals to 220. So now you have to solve by the distributive property. 4 times x is 4x. 4 times 8 32. Subtracting 32 on both sides. Hmm. Not so nice. Divide both sides by 4. What do we have here? I think we get x equals to... I think it's 27. No, 47. What am I talking about? 47? I better do it by long division. 4 goes into 1, none. 4 goes into 18, 4 times. 4 times 4 is 16. About 47. So x equals to 47. So the side length must have been. Used to be 47 centimeters.